This program will take you step by step through important inspection and maintenance guidelines for the Module X EXT boiler. Please take note that this program should be used as a reference for the Module X EXT only. This program is no substitute for the instructional manual that accompany your unit. These video chapters are an additional tool to help you operate your unit to its maximum potential. First, an important note of caution about your unit and its operation. To ensure the continued safe and efficient operation of your unit, it is highly recommended that it be checked at regular intervals and serviced whenever necessary. Regular maintenance will prolong the life of the boiler. Next, we'll take you through the Module X EXT maintenance schedule. The following maintenance operations have been separated for you into two categories. Operations that must be checked once each year, and operations that must be checked once every two years. Each year you must check the following maintenance operations. Inspect your unit for acceptable circulating and feed water quality and chemistry. Water pH levels must be within specification for proper operation. Inspect gas assembly components. Inspect safety devices for water and gas. Inspect and clean the combustion chamber and burners. Inspect and clean the flame rod and igniter. Take special note that the annual maintenance kit includes a flame rod and igniter for you. The 24-month fireside inspection kit includes a flame rod, igniter, and burner gaskets. Inspect and clean the fan and blower. Check gas pressure and adjust if needed. Inspect and clean the flue exhaust assembly. Perform a combustion analysis and recalibrate if necessary. Inspect the condensate drain and P-trap. Clean this if necessary. Check the flow switch in the CSD-1 manifold for proper function. Every two years, the following maintenance operations must be checked. Check the operation of the fan and blower. Check all water connections and valves. Check electrical and electronic components. Now, we're going to help you visually assess the health of your unit's burner. When your unit's burner is operating correctly, you'll notice the flame is even over the entire surface like this. It should burn with a clear and stable flame that is clearly orange. You can check the flame by looking through the flame observation port on your unit. Here is an easy to remember quick reference for the flame color of your unit. Yellow means that the CO2 is too high. Blue means that the CO2 is too low. Again, remember that orange means your unit's burner is firing correctly. In this section, we're going to show you how to clean your burner and heat exchanger step by step. Please note that the demonstration you're about to see showcases a light commercial unit. For all others, please consult the manual that accompanied your unit. The infiltration of dust and other particles to the combustion chamber will cause a decrease of heating efficiency and output over time. This is due to the buildup of combusted byproducts onto thermally conductive surfaces. These surfaces must be cleaned from time to time to maintain thermal efficiency and heat output. To disassemble the unit for maintenance, perform the following as demonstrated. Switch the power to your unit off. Completely close the gas supply valve. Remove the top lid as shown. Remove screws from the top of the unit. These screws hold the front, rear, and side panels in place. Remove the panels by tilting away from the unit, then lifting up and out as shown. Remove screws from around the exhaust outlet opening. Remove the flue assembly from your unit. On each side of the air intake manifold, unlatch the spring clamps that hold it in place like this. Then, remove the hoses from the bottom side of the manifold. Then lift the entire manifold up and off of the unit. On each gas valve, unscrew the gas valve connector with a Phillips head screwdriver as shown. Remove the connector from each side of each gas valve. For the fan, remove the connectors. Take a 13 mm wrench and remove all of the nuts that are located between each burner plate. Then, use the same wrench to remove all of the nuts located at each end of the burner plate assembly. Now, to access individual burner modules, use a standard Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws and access each of the burner modules. 
there are two of these specific screws per burner plate, as shown here. Please note, if you are planning to lift the entire assembly as a unit, do not remove these screws. If you are removing individual burners from your unit, disconnect the gas valve at the gas header and disregard the next step in the presentation. Remove the two bolts that are found at each end of the gas manifold. These bolts mount this tube to the boiler chassis. Take a 10 mm socket wrench like this and remove these four bolts and nuts. This will allow you to separate the gas collector tube flange from the gas supply piping. Now, locate the burner assembly lifting screws. They look like this. There is one located at each end. Elevate the burner assembly slightly until each screw is lined up with the tab hole. Then, unscrew the lift screw until it extends into the hole as shown here. Do this at both ends. If you are lifting all of the burners at once, lift up the front of the burner assembly until the two lift pins can be inserted at the left and right side as shown here. This will allow you to hold the burner assembly up. An important note, at this point, be sure to test the check valve to make sure it moves freely and closes properly. This completes our demonstration on how to properly disassemble your unit for maintenance. Now that the burner assembly has been lifted, you can easily clean the individual burner modules. In this section, we'll show you how that's done. Begin by carefully lifting each of the burner modules from its starting position. Remove both the module and gasket. The used gasket can be discarded because it will be replaced during reassembly. Important note, after each cleaning of your unit, the burner gaskets must be replaced. Now back to our demonstration. First, use only compressed air to clean the burners. You should blow air into the flame side of the burner mesh as shown. Now, visually inspect the burner mesh, specifically at the L profile or the area where the mesh is welded to the frame. If the welds in this area are compromised or the burner mesh is damaged, the burner module should be replaced. After removing all of the burner modules, wash the combustion chamber underneath water. Do not get the electrical harnesses and components wet. This operation will make it easy for you to determine if the condensate drain pipe is free of any and all obstructions. The water should drain freely from the condensate pipe as shown here. Next, use compressed air to blow through the combustion chamber. This will remove any dirt that may clog the aluminum fins on the combustion chamber wall. Once you've completed this, check the condensate drain line for obstructions and clean if needed. Inspect the flue exhaust section for any blockages. This includes the exhaust piping. After you've completed all of these steps, reassemble the unit according to the reassembly procedure provided in your unit's manual. To order the Module X annual and 24 month fireside inspection maintenance kits, Contact Airco directly. More detailed information on available kits and part numbers can be found in the manual that accompany your unit. We hope you found this presentation to be a useful tool for learning about the best installation practices and design features of this Airco product. Please remember that this program is no substitute for the precise and detailed instructional manual that accompany your unit. The video demonstrations you've just watched are only meant to provide you with another instructional resource for inspecting and maintaining your unit so it can operate to its greatest efficiency. If you have additional questions about your unit, please contact the local representative or dealer you purchased the unit from. If you would like to learn more about the Modulix EXT or other products in the Airco family, please visit us at airco.com.